Hello, I'm Dr. Gareth Moore and I'm a puzzle and brain training author. But in this video, as in the other videos of mine you may have seen on YouTube already, I am going to be solving puzzles rather than writing them. And in this particular video, we're going to be solving Exit the Game, The Sinister Mansion. And I'm joined once again by my colleague, Laura Jane Eyre, Hello. who is a very accomplished puzzle writer in her own right. Mm -hmm. um, but right, let's we get cracking right let's into it. Let's do it. Let's have a good look at this. So here it goes. It comes in shrink wrap. Let's Ooh, rip that. Rip the that sinister off. mansion. Just keeping it on at the start, just to show that there's no cheating involved. Yeah, that's true. Or that we didn't just Never buy multiple seen. copies of this. And, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Right. Okay. So inside the box is. Ooh, stop. <gasps> Open the poster only when you have permission <laughs> to do so. Okay. Okay. Uh, the Sinister Mansion, what's the game about? Okay, we'll come back to that. There's a decoder disc for okay. solving the puzzle. It's not as colourful as the one we did in the previous video. Oh, there's a clock on the back. Ooh, Look at that. That's going to come up somewhere. Uh, and then there's what they call exit call mysterious objects, mm. which are bits of cardboard you press out usually. Mm. Um, so there we go. We'll put that aside for now. Then guest there is book. a guest book. Yeah which is so cool because you guess a lot as you solve it. Is that right? No. <laughs> uh, and then the box, which it's may or may not in have this anything system. useful on it. And a pack of cards, mm. which contain the bulk of the riddle content, I think, along with this. Mm -hmm. So let's start by having a look at the story for this particular one. What does it have to say for itself? Your recent vacations to the woods and historic castles have been quite eventful. Again, you have some time off and all you want to do this time is stay home. At least nothing can happen to you here. The weather is great, the fridge is full, and today is game night. What more could a person want? But first, you take a quick look in the mailbox, where you find a note from your neighbour. Your neighbour? You thought that the mansion next door was unoccupied. You've never seen anyone over there. The garden is completely overgrown and the building looks completely run down. Word of the day, completely. <laughs> There's no nameplate on the doorbell. In his note, have you ever seen a nameplate on the Literally door? Literally never. No, no. In his note, your nameless neighbour asks you to feed his cat because he had to leave on short notice. But you hesitate. You feel a little uneasy about all of this. Mm. Cats can be deadly. <laughs> on the other hand, you don't want to be inhumane. You can't just let the poor little creature starve after all. As you enter the mansion together, you are astounded at the elegance inside. The finest furnishings are not a speck of dust. Your astonishment is interrupted as the door slams shut behind you. <laughs> This time, you really should have known better, yes. You find a guest book and a, by now, not so remarkable disc. Mm. Here's the disc. Right, solve all the puzzles together before your creepy host returns. Mm. Is that the cat or the owner? Hard to say. Presumably, this is the same person who went on holiday to the abandoned cabin. And therefore <laughs> yeah, I think they're all, the, they're all you, you. Hasn't learned yeah. their lesson. Otherwise, we haven't learned our lesson. We haven't lesson. learned our lesson, yeah. Shame on us. So I imagine the rest of the booklet contains the instructions, mm. which are fairly standard for exit games, I think. And then at the back, it usually tells you how to begin. What are you waiting for? Start the stopwatch and get out of the mansion before it's too late. Now you are allowed to look at all of the pages of the book and begin solving riddles. If anything is unclear, don't be shy about looking it up. Right. Well, you start having a look Ooh. through the, the guest book. I think I will. Or was it the stop? Do we have hint cards? Wait, we can't open this yet. Can't yes, open they're, the they're all in there. I'll open this while you have a look okay. in the guest book. I will. Let's have a look. Guest book. Ooh. Ooh, a Ouija board type yeah, thing. Yeah, that looks pretty spooky. Shall I read this out? Welcome, my guests. I'm very happy to be able to welcome you to my splendid mansion. I even recognise a few of your faces. Creepy. It's nice that you've stumbled upon my place, although I wouldn't describe it as an accident. They were invited round, I think. Yeah, they were. <laughs> It is my desire to play another game with you. Yes, you're reading this right. I'm playing with you. No, nothing with dice or... Oh, pawns. I thought it said prawns. <laughs> <laughs> Although, strictly a speaking... Bit a bit weird. Um, Although, strictly speaking, you are indeed the pawns in my little game. I'm eager to see if you're up to the challenge. Oh, before I forget, there's no way for you to back out of it now. Well, I mean, you could climb out a window, presumably. <laughs> uh, hang on. The doors and the windows of the mansion are already locked. Oh. There is only one single way out, which is to task, which is your task to work together to find. If you can't manage to solve the riddles, you will remain my guests for life. By the way, if you you don't have to sign my guest book, after all, if everything goes as I have planned, you will be here for quite a while. Let the game begin. I would uh, complain about your neighbours. Hundred percent. Yeah. yeah. That's not on. Right, okay. So what else is in this booklet? We've got mm. hey, suffering from a Ouija board, I think. And we've got some magnets and some text Ooh. that says magnetically. Magnetically. With net and brackets. Cryptic. And we've got some coloured edges and some arrows and numbers. Mm. We've got a picture of an 
this is presumably the interior of the of the mansion. So there are at the top some coloured numbers on boards here and here. Mm -hmm. um, and there's Riddle Card H, so we can start by taking Riddle Card H from our pile. Nice. Um, and then what else is in here? We've got some furniture is that, that, that and so board's on. board's on the table. We've got a bottle of wine or similar. Oh, yeah, the wine has got a letter beta, yeah. Greek letter, I think. A spooky photo. A cork here on the stairs. Did you Ooh, say that already? Oh, I didn't know. Okay. And then what else is in the book? Oh, that's Ooh. it. We've got the back page. Ooh, a small right. guest book. Okay, so what have we got here? From Which comes with the game, we've got a pack of help cards, which have help for each riddle and then a solution. So we will obviously never need those. Hopefully. Hopefully. And then you've got answer cards as you run through the game and you look up answers. You come up with a three-digit code usually, you put it into the code, it gives you a number, you turn to a card, then you sh choose on the card if it's to the right so far where you think it applies to in the game and it tells you whether you're right or wrong. And then we have riddle cards. We, we reveal these as we go and they help us progress the adventure, don't they? So we started off with H. What's on the back mm, of H? Let's have a look. Okay. Ooh. Oh goodness. Okay, well we've got a diamond right, to start at the top. On this a bit. Quite hard to see that, isn't that it? That is. Now I was going to say the word yellow is difficult to see, but it's actually the words written in the colour yellow that are difficult to see. Yes. So I'm guessing with this card there are only three words where the colour matches the word, and mm. those are the answer to the riddle. Let's find out. So the diamond is the the diamond match should match to something in the in the. Here we go. The diamond matches, sorry, I moved it off the camera. There the diamond go. matches to this big unit, so we know that this is the combination for this here. Mm. So let's start by looking for, if I'm right, colours that match the word. So this says green here, you can't read. Uh, yellow, blue, orange, purple, brown, white, black, green, and then blue, purple, white. So the white. first colour I reckon is white. So we turn to the diamond, mm. and, uh, well, wait, how do we get white into Whoa. a colour? Right, but I have to vote white to a colour. We'll come okay. back to that. Let me write down white. Have we seen anything colourful? No, um, no. There was no. a slightly colourful page in the guest book. Oh, okay. And then okay. where are we? Red, yellow, orange. Orange is... Orange. Orange flag. <laughs> Brown, black, yellow, purple, black, green. And Does then that this is orange. orange. White, red. Red is a match. Red. Okay, so it can't be a coincidence that three colours match. Mm. White, orange and red, nothing else does. But now what? Now we need to convert these to numbers for our decoder, don't we? Are there? We do. I don't really so remember. So that was the was... page I was thinking about that had some colour on it. Oh. Okay. <laughs> right, let's have a look at the... Um, <laughs> there must be a way to convert those to colours, right? We don't have permission to open the poster. No, there's no colours in here. Uh, what am I missing? Oh, hang on. Well, oh, right, thank you. We've got some colours up here. Colours are up here. Mm. Right, okay, why well, don't I put that light on? Does that make it uh, no, much worse? No, much more complicated. So we need white, which is here. It's a four, four. right? So white is four. Orange is... Is this a seven? Seven. Yeah. They're quite hard to see, aren't they? They are, particularly on the camera. And red here is three. Three. So four, seven, three. Do you want to dial that in? <gasps> Where are we going? From the diamond? Yeah. Do, 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 do. Four. Seven. I haven't done this before. You haven't turned the disc? No, this is not usually your responsibility. Nineteen. Oh, so if I get this wrong, I am a curse forever. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> right, nineteen. Let's have a look. Oh, promising. Look. Yes, and it's on this um, big unit. So we find that picture. Here it is. <gasps> Turn to card seven. Seven. Let's see if we're right. Big unit. Yes. Awesome. I was going to call it an armoire, but you kept uni uni uniting. Right. The old armoire opens with a creak. A secret passage leading outside would have been nice, but instead there are just more clues Always inside. Away. Yeah, you find riddle cards E and N. Take them out. Let's have a look at them. Is that it? Yes. That's it. E and N. So right. presumably we can get rid of this card now that can go away. I imagine so. We can yeah. put that in our. That's the card we just used for the colours since already. it was off camera. Mm. Right, should we see what E and N say? Let's do it. Mm. Right, we've got some lines at the bottom mm. and. Uh, the spirits that I invoke to draw and meet to them magically. Mm. An odd item made of wood with a metal tip. What could it be for? And then it says code, where the red is full of red. The Sorry, the C is completely red. The, the O is black at the top and red at the bottom. The D is red on the right and black on the left and the E is fully black. They look like magnets. Ooh. Let's, put, let's get rid of this card for the moment then and find the magnets let's in here. Let's have a look. 
Here they are. Is that right? Could that be right? Yeah, it could, couldn't it? It could be right. And then I think we want to move around a piece like this on our... Oh, the Ouija board yeah. on the back. Ooh. Which is on the first page, I think. How do we line it up, though? What do we want to say? Let's zoom out. What did the clue say again? Sure the I'm spirits that I invoked to draw me to them magically. An odd item made of wood with a metal tip. What could it be for? So, I mean, the metal tip you would expect to snap to the magnets on the back. And does it then point to something? Is it, would it go, is it going through? As in if you, <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. But as in if you imagine that they snap to the magnets on the back, then you place it on the other side of this. Yes. Where it would be. Does that pick out numbers? It, oh, with numbers or letters. Yes, that's interesting. Let's have a look. Okay, so if we... We think the metal... It's quite hard. I think this is meant to be... This is not, we're not matching the letters of C-O-D, are we? Oh, let's just point the tip. So they've got a tip point in there. Mm -hmm. It seems What's to point that? to a nine. A nine. And a tip point in here points at a five, right? Or a... Ooh, or four. Or four. I feel like we should probably be certain of that and then whatever's next to that so let's just punch through the page yes i think that's quite smart <gasps> sabotage you've got to do what you've got to do right does that pick out numbers yeah, it does three four nine three four nine that can't be a coincidence and then it? can you do these if that is the are you saying does it match the orientation of these yeah so if you pick yes. this one first because that matches the yes, c yes, yes that's a four which is four and then oh, three yep and then whatever this one was, that nine. was nine. So four, four three, nine. Three, nine. Should we try okay, it? Yeah, yeah, clever. I didn't what think of that. Color, not color. What shape it's are a we? Star. Four, three, nine. Exciting. I'll see if I can find where the star appears in the book. Oh yes, very sensible. I've got the number twenty-one there. Okay, where's the star? Well, there it is. It's on this. There? It's on this bureau. Ooh. Armoire and bureau. It's a French house that we're <laughs> yeah. somewhere. Well, that's why they have names on the doors, because everyone in France does. Is that true? No. Um, I mean, I doubt it. I, don't, I, I, I haven't have no idea. Looked I looked at enough it just seems unlikely. Who put names on doors? On door bells, I think yeah. it was. Um, what are we doing? 21. 21. This is 21. Does and it we're looking there? for the bureau. Where's the bureau? Here it is. 29. There we go. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. Hey, well done. S nailed it. Brilliant. Thank you. You saw through the <laughs> trick with the magnets under the table and cracked the code. Yes. The drawer springs open. You get new clues and the hands of a clock. Ooh, fun. Take these riddle cards and a strange item. Will you find the riddle cards? I will. I'll find a strange item. D. Is that on there? Yep. J and L for Laura. And here's a strange item. And look, the middle mm. pops out as well. It's double sided. Ooh, what does it mean? Okay, great. Okay. Shall we see what's on the riddle cards? Let's have a look. Do you want to turn them over? You can do it. it. Okay, here's our first one. Just don't lose the thread. First, second, third. Okay, well, in that various colours, and they must match up. Must go with this to some extent. Yeah. We've got before. Okay. Yeah. What else? Okay. Ooh, lots of text here. A twisted clock could be early or late. Ooh. You don't know whether to hurry or wait. It makes your brain feel quite perplexed when every clock disagrees with the next. So find a round clock face that gently beckons with the hand with the hand that tells the seconds. Set the times and you might say the riddle is well-timed child's play, left, right, centre. It's all in American English, aren't they? Okay. Um, so this is a poem. Late, wait, perplexed, next, beckons, seconds, say play. I don't think that's relevant, it's just for fun. Yeah. Okay, okay, let's have a look at the last one. So that's one. something to do with the clock, Down maybe. that, and then we've got some more oh, right. string. And that says bottom as well, which is presumably just to give us a helping hand. Yeah. Okay. Just don't lose the threads. A twisted clock. So one thing I noticed is that none of these... Let's assume we've used this piece. None of these three pieces have got any symbols on. So we don't immediately know what puzzle they belong to. So I think you might have to assume they belong to this puzzle. Also, this red is thread and these are just lines. So they don't actually match up in terms of the images, if you see what I mean. I do see what you mean. Mm. Maybe they're separate puzzles. Maybe they are separate puzzles. Okay. 
Hmm. Maybe we're using this then. A twisted clock could be early or late. Where is there a clock in, in well, this book? Well, do you not remember what we found? Oh. We looked in the decoder. <laughs> I didn't remember. I thought you'd remembered that. So we're looking for a circle as well. A um, okay, so the, the, cir work? the circle is on a covered over, presumably, grandfather yeah. clock. Okay. Mm. Go on then. Well, what are we doing? What did the actual... Oh, does that fit on there like that? That's rather nice, isn't it? It is rather nice. It goes the other way up as well, though. It does. So it could be either way. Yeah. Fun. Okay. A twisted clock could be early or late. You don't know whether to hurry or wait. It makes your brain feel quite perplexed. True. When every clock disagrees with the next. Have we got any images of clocks? Yeah, it says, so find a round clock face that gently beckons with the hand that tells the seconds. Then you need to rotate it so that you always get a different... So I presume none of the numbers are in common between the times at each rotation. Well, the one here is clearly covered. Mm. When it says find a clock face, does it mean find the clock face on the back of the decoder, which we've just done? Oh, it might do, might yeah. In which case, how do we work out what times it's meant to say? Set the times. And you might say the riddle is well-timed, child's play, left, right, centre. What does that even mean? Well-timed child's play. Are we looking for some... I'm just going to look and see if there's, there's a clock here, actually. There's a clock on the box, look. Ooh, there is a clock on the box. And it's, maybe they're different times. So hang on, let me just write that down. There's nine o'clock. That one says nine. Um, and then are we looking at what the second hand says? Look, and this one, yes. And then we're looking at what time, yes, you're right. You're welcome. So that one is five to two. Because 12 is... <laughs> I was thoroughly confused. <laughs> so how did you read that? How did so you get that? it's one fifty-five. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then okay, so this clock shows what time? Ten past eleven. So. Eleven ten. Um, Do we have an order in which to? We have one. Let's just check. One, two, three, three. Is there clocks. Another one? Yes, Ooh, there's another one here. But that one's also ten past eleven. Yeah, it's two ten past eleven. And so then on the other box. That's also ten past eleven. Three o'clock. And they're the same, I think. And by three o'clock, I mean, mean nine o'clock. <laughs> I'm somehow I'm reflecting it. Yeah. I don't know why. Okay. So, so we've got nine o'clock, one fifty-five, and eleven ten. So if that's nine o'clock, then we get a four. We get a four. Okay, great. And then what was the other one? Uh, one fifty-five. One fifty-five. What am I doing? There we go. Five to two. So that oh, yeah. gives so that's us a six. six. And then ten past eleven. You might have to flip it over. That's why it's printed on both sides. Ten past, that is ten past eleven, though. So I got it the other way round, the one before that. So one fifty, it was not one fifty-five then. That's one fifty-five. Okay, so one, so one fifty-five is actually eight. One fifty-five is eight. No, it's seven. <laughs> it's a comedy of errors. Don't, don't but, do this with people well, who can't tell the time, because that's us. One fifty-five is seven. <laughs> 10 past 11 is 6. I mean, you have to flip it over to get that, right? Yeah. Okay. 10 past 11. I would like to explain that our picture is mirrored on the screen. No, That's not true. It's we not. just can't tell the time. Right, okay. So we've got 4, 7 and 6. I mean, what do we do? Put them in order. It says left, right, centre. What does that even mean? Left, right, centre. Does it mean off the box? Is it to, yeah. Okay. Left is... The left side of the box is 155. So that's 7, right? And then the right side of the box... <laughs> is three o'clock. Nine o'clock, so that's four. Concerning. And then Concerning. The centre, and then the middle the is centre presumably is this one. Ten past um, eleven, right? <laughs> I read that correctly. Yes. Okay. Well, we've already had ten past eleven. No, we haven't. Six. Haven't we? No, so seven, four, six. Oh, my goodness. Honestly, we made that hard, didn't we? Didn't it say it was perplexing? Well, yeah. they were absolutely right about that. Seven, you four, can, six. You can spin the dial on this one. My brain okay, is spinning so, so much already. My brain is as well. Seven, four, six. It's interesting, actually, sometimes how things that you wouldn't think were part of the puzzle can actually be quite confusing. That one with the deliberate flipping of the hour and mm. minute hands, and the fact that they were very similar lengths, I found confusing. So we think the answer to this is 28. So let's have a look That's at the what answer we hope. cards. Yeah. After all that brain power. Okay, it's potentially correct. And we're looking for it on the covered over grandfather clock, I think. Here. Mm -hmm. Three. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. Yes. Oh, at least we got it right. Ooh. <laughs> the hidden times couldn't hold you back. <laughs> it doesn't want to We've stay. We've got a poltergeist here. Your host is putting you to a harsh test. 
So far, however, you have risen to the challenge. You open the grandfather clock. Inside you find riddle cards. Where have I put the pile? Ah, uh -huh. you've got the P, I T and U. Put P, T and U. Take these riddle cards out of the stack I'm and gonna. look at them. Okay, so we've got P, we can probably get rid of that. Don't need the clock riddle anymore, do we? But we have got all these red bits of tape. What we can we get rid for? of our strange objects P, as well. T there it goes. and U. All right. There we are. All right, so put them up. Should we have a look? Yes. Should we see what's in them? It'd be hard if we right. don't. Right, oh, okay. I well, that goes goes down there. So another one of those. And we've got a symbol for that now. So we know what we're looking for there. Ooh. The abandoned cabin lies to the right next to the sinister mansion. Directly above the mansion lies the forbidden castle. Ooh. That sounds like it's referring to an advert or something for the game products. Mm. I might be wrong. But... And we have just been to the abandoned cabin. <laughs> yes, in our previous video. Mm. I mean, there are these cards with advertising on. I don't know whether that's relevant. Maybe it's just thematic text who knows mm. and then and the final one let's have a look what's going on in here Ooh, the numbers cannot yet be seen despite all the lines 90 degrees away from you 90 degrees toward you ah. from small to large follow the view so it's talking about folding isn't it is it yeah mountain and valley folds ah sure there you go it was obvious Naturally, yeah, that's what I thought. Of course, I could be wrong. <laughs> so we'll assume we don't need that card for this. For now, Let's yeah. Let's move that out of the way. Mm -hmm. And you were quite rightly pointed out this appears to have wool on it or something instead. So we'll move that out of the way. And then we've got these three cards. So we start folding. Yeah. What is this going to be, though? That's where we look, I reckon. We'll fold them into shape, so we're going to look down following and that arrow like, view. Okay, right. So that's what I reckon is going to happen. Shall right, we get this yeah. one? Yeah. Blue okay. means... 90 degrees away from away me. Away from you, so is that a mountain fold? Yeah, it is, isn't it? There we go, and another one, and then the red is towards us. Okay, so I've got a zero. Oh, I don't know what I've got. I don't know what order they're going to be in, though. We'll have to work that out. And then what am I getting? Have I done this wrong? Oh, no, we're going towards me. And then, and it says bottom, so we know where the bottom is. Well, I think that's only relevant for this one, actually. There we go. Look at that. It's a five. Love that. Do you want to do the last one? Okay. You can do That's it. That's not it. One, <laughs> uh, you can work out what order they go. It's red towards me. It is, isn't it? From small to large. Follow the view. I'm guessing zero is small. Oh, is that what it says? Where does it say that? Mm -hmm. Oh, here. Yeah, okay. Big letters there. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> What's that going to be? A six. Where does it say bottom? Here. It's got to be 90 degrees. Remember, it's got to be a 90 degree angle. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. It's one of those. Ah, yes. A lowercase e. <laughs> bottom must be where, where it's written, so it's must a nine. Must be. A nine. Zero five. Zero five nine. Zero five nine. Shall we try that? Yes. And what was the shape of this? It's a hexagon that's on there, right? It is a hexagon on there. Okay. So Zero, you five, do that, nine. Go on then. While you do that, I'll work out what it's actually attached What the object is. Okay. Zero. What did we say? Five. Yeah, and it's Ooh. this door at the top of the stairs Ooh, here. That seems like you an important one. You can't quite see that. Okay, I've got the number 12 here. Okay, let's look at that on the answers. Okay, it's a good start, and it's a door at the top of the stairs, which looks like... <laughs> is it this? Or is it not? I think it's the one at the top. Oh, it's this one with the, the radians in front of it. Of it. Yeah. You can't see it's off the top of the screen. Mm -hmm. It's this matches this. 13. Number 13. Wait, that's the next Ooh, card. That's the next one. Ooh. Okay, we got it right, we got it right. Okay. Isn't it great when doors actually open? Yeah, I think so it too. Is. Unfortunately, this isn't the exit. You have entered your host's captors. <laughs> study. <laughs> There are all sorts of things to discover here. The magnitude of his macabre game is not clear. I can't roll my R's. I thought I'd give it a go anyway. Macabre. <laughs> you can find riddle cards B. You've got the cards. Q and X, along with a poster. Oh, B. Here Q is the poster. Ooh, we'll open that in a second. Look at the poster. Much um, take these riddle cards out of the stack and look at them and open mm, the poster now. There cool. We go. All right. Well, while you do that, I'll B. clear away these. Yes, the detritus. Oops, sorry, we probably just zoom out. There we go. Oh, we haven't used that. I haven't used that. 
B, Q, and X. There we go. Okay, and then let's have. We yeah. haven't used these cards from before. Haven't. Should we see what's on here? Oh, yeah. Ooh, it's a big green, isn't it? It is nice. I'd love a library. So what have we got? Dream Island. Uh, oh, maybe these are, this is a reference to the Sinister Mansion Ooh, stuff, perhaps. Yeah. Uh, some art, yeah. Dream Island. Oh, they've got, it's got the name Dream Islands. Yeah, some pictures. Mm. Um, and then we've well, got an L here for the globe. And yeah. some books and a door with a combination on a skull. Everyone needs to have a skull. Everyone needs a skull. There's a safe with a hammer on it, <laughs> yes. just in case you need that. It's pretty, pretty fine. Ooh, and if you watched our last video, you might recognise this, which I believe Ooh, you're right. is the floor plan of the abandoned cabin. Another exit the game room. Yeah. That's, that's, that's well recognised. Interesting. And projector with a moon on it. These symbols are all the ones for the riddles. Mm. Um, and then there's some books and a desk and there's a triangle on this pyramid. And um, what else is that? Is that it? There's These look like arrows here. on the screen, but they don't really look like arrows on the paper. Oh, they, they. Or do they? Mm. Or do they? Mm. I don't know. We'll there's, definitely a gap, there's definitely a big gap here anyway. There here, is and a here, big gap. Here. And, okay, well, if you... Mm. So we, let's have a look what else we have. Much intrigue. On these cards. Cool poster, we can frame so that So still two things that we haven't used. Right, Island Pins. Mm. I'll zoom in again. Nate's Motel. The lighthouse at Bogodar Bay. The abandoned cabin. The forbidden castle. The dark forest. The sinister mansion. I have to say, they were not one for like undramatic adjectives, are they? None of these places sound like places I would want to go on holiday, really. No, not really. I've got to be honest. Maybe the lighthouse at Bodega Bay. That sounds doesn't like sound it. so bad to see. No, it doesn't. Could have like a spa. It's not haunted that maybe we know a of. Pool, yeah. <laughs> Nate's Motel is at the very bottom. The lighthouse at Bogodar Bay is some sort of logic puzzle. The lighthouse at Bogodar Bay is on a straight line above Nate's Motel. Mm. The motel. Can you picture how you will feel now if you come up with a perfect answer? And can it now appear to be detached? Motivational quote for riddle solvers. You picture how you will feel if you come up with the perfect answer, possibly, or maybe. Well, we'll Ooh. see. Oh, but there's and we've a, got some numbers a three on there as well. Maybe we don't have all of this yet. And we've got some things that look a bit like perforation marks, as though we're supposed to yeah. slice them. I wonder if we, because of those numbers, we don't need that yet. Yeah, maybe not. Right. Okay. okay. So I don't know if we need this yet. I'm not sure that's relevant for this and one. And the island pins. Well, I don't know either. So. Are these the islands here? Yeah, no. Well, I think we've got dream islands here and we've got different pictures of different things. Presumably, this is our forbidden castle and it says the abandoned cabin lies to the right. What, do we, what does it say here? Well, how are we going to get a number as well? Oh, I'm not sure. The abandoned cabin lies, lies to the right next to the sinister mansion. Directly above the mansion lies the Forbidden Castle. What does that even refer to? What does that even mean? Because here we've got a maybe, castle. Maybe it doesn't refer to that at all. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe no, could it confused. refer to these cards? What have we got on here? Sunken treasure, abandoned cabin, mysterious mansion. Are they on there? No, it has we've sinister got... mansion. That's different, isn't mm. it? So that's probably just a not. I'm probably just wrong. It's probably nothing to do with these advertising these advertising cards because it doesn't it says forbidden castle oh wait there's a forbidden castle where's nate's motel we just had that on a card somewhere oh, it's here there we go it's a mysterious no there's no sinister mansion can we see those on there let's have a look oh, the sinister mansion is the one we're doing <laughs> i'm oh, yes. so so dumb nate's motel's at the very bottom of what and what do we do once we've got these things there's another Greek letter on the wall here. I really can't a gamma. Mm -hmm. So we've got six islands here. Yes. And that... six pins. Oh, so that can't be a coincidence. We're identifying where they are based on the logic, right? Presumably. The abandoned castle lies to the right next to the sinister mansion. Directly above the mansion is the forbidden castle. Okay, right. Nate so let's draw the bottom. six things. And using the logic, we'll put yeah. them where they go. All right. The so abandoned cabin is on the right next to the sinister mansion. So we've got the abandoned cabin to the right of the sinister mansion somewhere, right? Mm -hmm. And directly above the mansion lies the forbidden... Okay, I shouldn't have started at the top of the page. Lies the forbidden <laughs> castle. 
um, and Nate's Motel is at the very bottom. And the street and the lighthouse of Bogodaba is on a straight line above it. Oh, so there we go. That's that's finished. It must be up there. So that must be Nate's Motel. The lighthouse must be here. Um, it must be like this. And then whatever's left. That. Is there one left? Yes. The dark forest, right? Yeah. So we've assigned them all okay. to locations. And then we've got coloured pins there. Okay, so Nate's Motel is, so this is purple. And dark forest is green. And the abandoned cabin is red. And the sinister mansion is blue. <gasps> I revealed this? something perhaps. What about this? Oh. And FC is the Forbidden Castle is yellow. Mm. And then TL is whatever's left. The lighthouse is white. And you're right, that does fit with these colours. And it does yeah. fit with the pins and the connecting, doesn't it? So if we went from yellow to blue. Oh, very good. I see mm. what you're saying. So yellow to yellow blue. Yellow to blue to red to purple. To white at the to top. It's a four. At the top is a four. Very good. Love it when a plan comes together. And then yellow. Yellow to white to red to blue to green to purple. It's a two. Love that. And then white to yellow to green to purple to red. And then, and then we've got an exclamation mark, which, which is, is blue. blue. Four, two, six. Yes. That's not a coincidence. That's pretty compelling. It? Yeah, I think so. I if think. it's a coincidence, it's a massive one. Yeah, if I hadn't spent so much time faffing around with those advertising cards, we've got, <laughs> we've got that sooner. You never know. Four, two, six. Okay, should we try it? What, oh, what was the... What's the shape of I the doodah? I shouldn't have thrown it away, mm, should I? So emphatic in victory. It's an L. an L. We've got an L shape. Where are we? We're here. And what? what? Four, two, six. Thank you. Unbelievably short memory. Oh, two, six. I get 25 there. Okay, great. Let's have a look. You've got the magic cards. So that could be right. Where is mm. the L? On the picture. We found it. We did before here. There we go. It's on the globe. Well, that makes sense about sticking in pins to go around and it travel, does. doesn't it? So perhaps we should have noticed that before. Um, and then the globe is 10. So let's find card 10. Mm. Okay. Yes. Great. The globe opens up. Ooh. Instead of a mini bar, there are more clues. Disappointing. Yeah, this is <laughs> your host's perfidious game. That's a good word. Good it's word. It's not over yet, or not yet over. Mm. You find riddle cards G and K. Take these riddle cards out of the stack and look at them. I'm gonna. That's it. Okay, that's all we've got. So we've got G and we've got K. Let's have a look. Oh, more words. Where are we? And oh. Okay, one solution is far too few, more like 30, will surely do. Hold them all together and stroke them quick like a feather. From top to bottom, watch as they flip by and the secret code you will spy. So we're talking about flipping a pack of... Oh, look, there are 30 cards in the answer mm. deck. Are there something printed on the top? No, something printed on the bottom. Hold them all together. Oh, here we go. Ooh. Something's there, Ooh, that isn't was it? cool. So I was trying to get that actually on the camera. Three. Oh, they're numbers. Something. Oh, that's cool. Love that. Look like three, six, eight. I'm going to have to do this quite a few times. I'm not very good at this. <laughs> I believe in you. One more time. <laughs> Do you want to have a go? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I can see that was frustrating. Uh, no, 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 only to prove that it's really difficult. Okay, where are we? So. Well, you made that look easy. Well, what can I say? It is actually my first time. Still quite hard. I think the first one is a three. Would you agree? Yeah, that yes. looks like a three. And then I think it's a six. And then I think it's an eight. I agree entirely. Three, six, eight. Let's give it a go. Fun. You did that better than I did, I've got to be honest. Thank you. What what um, we're looking for? Moon, moon here. Yeah. Moon. Ooh, it's very zoomed in, isn't it? Three. You can see it out if you want. No, no, it's all good. 
just my hand was much bigger than I expected it to be. Three, six, eight, and I've got four there. Okay. Excitement. Card four. Mm. Okay, where is the symbol of where a moon? moon? Oh, it's here. I don't it's know if you can see that. It's projector. on our projector. Okay. So where's the projector here? Mm. 16, yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> the lock is open and you're able to activate the film projector. It jerks and pops. That's not a good sign, is it? After a few moments, you see a few odd images on the wall. You find riddle cards A, O, R and S. Take these riddle cards out and out of the stack and look at them. A, O, R and S. Right, we can get rid of some of these cards. Maybe just that one, actually. A. Yeah, I think just that one. R, O and Yes, there we go. Oh, we've got... And now we can saw. Now we can saw. It's beautiful. And okay. It's a shame my name's not Rosa. I feel like um, Rachel Riley on Countdown. Very similar. Words can we spell? Yeah. Yes. What did you get? I got you a three-letter word. <laughs> yeah, very similar. Oars. Oars, oh, yeah. Oh, lovely. I think we've done. I think we're done. I think that's it. Okay. I think we've proved that we're puzzlers. <laughs> Mealy, I've actually. I feel that because Ooh. of the visual style that goes with this. Mealy eyeballing it will not be enough here. We've seen a cork before and there's a beta as well. There is. Uh, on the in the book. Okay. Mm. Eight. Whatever that is. What is one of them? It's not the symbol. It looks like our Ouija board token. I don't think it, it does. is. Uh, Ooh, no, that was a heart. That was a heart shape. Misleadingly similar. Yeah. So we'll have to look for something that looks like that. But we've got those numbers that we haven't used yet, but we've seen before. Yeah. Okay, what does R tell us? Similar. Very similar. Smaller we're, though. We're going on a hunt for these. Oh. And the circles at the bottom. A bottom of a one and a bottom of a zero. Huh. Yeah, okay. All right. Well, I reckon we start with these two and have a look for things that look like that. And do you reckon this goes in? And look, we haven't used, you can't see here, we haven't used this card yet, but put it that way there's a hammer tip we have seen that and a pin going onto a pin maybe we're drawing mm. lines in some way so for example here we found a hammer didn't we we did have we got a pin what's holding up this letter is that a pin it could well be couldn't it so there's a gamma and then with our so these these two obviously connected in some way yeah so here's the cork here is the corkless wine bottle, mm -hmm. and, the and here's cork. the cork here. So we've got a line like that. How do we get from one to the other? Merely eyeballing it will not be enough here. What does that mean? And we've only got two. Does that mean you have to draw it instead of just guess? Look, using your eyes. But what's it going to cover over? Yeah, what are we going to? We'll discover? go through this picture of whatever that is. Also, this is the, the symbol for that. I don't know how to describe that, a Y. So what is it the symbol for? What does it open? Ah, this, we're here. Oh, right, drafting table. This, yeah. Or drafting easel or something. Okay. I feel like we need a third card. We've got <laughs> two... We've also got this we had before. Can you picture how you... Well, some, some seems to connect together in some way. Mm. Can you picture how you'll feel now if you come up with the perfect answer? Inspirational quote for riddle solvers. This one's got the same kind of numbering at the top here that we found. In these, the... these two, right? Mm. And we have a page of numbers, don't we? And we have a four. And there's a one zero underlined there. there's a mystery card. But we don't have a... Assuming that these don't go with these... Let's see, we've got a lot of cards. Mm. Assuming that these don't go together, then we have a symbol for this, but not for these. That's true. Let's temporarily move those there. But then let's have a look in the book. Let's have a look in the book. We've got a page of numbers. We have sort of used this and this. We haven't used this at all. There are colours though. What have they got to do with the colours? But those, that sort of number style doesn't match the numbers on those cards. So well, that's a valid point. to do with that. Oh, well, that's it. And that's it. How annoying. Have we got any other rogue Greek letters flying about? Okay, so we've got three Greek, presumably you need three Greek letters. Mm. Alpha, beta, gamma, right? So we have, where did I see? Uh, it's on the wine bottle. We've got beta on the wine bottle. So that's the second letter of the Greek mm. alphabet. And we've got gamma, which is the third letter of the Greek alphabet, right? We're looking right? for an alpha somewhere. There's a beta here. And where was gamma? 
That's on the wall. Camera is here mm. on the wall. And then we're looking for an alpha, I'm guessing. A little fishy. I'm describing alpha, not the puzzle. <laughs> Very fishy. I mean, there could be all sorts of stuff hidden in this picture, but it's yeah, quite hard to scan. Yeah, it's so small, I feel like it would be a bit mean. Yeah, I don't think there's anything on the back. I'll just check. Ooh, yeah, we have No, it just has lots of stop signs. Stop. And I think they're all the same. Yeah. I got stuck on a puzzle on the Christmas one because I never looked on the back of something. Oh, you won't make that mistake again. Well, I probably will. We almost certainly will make that mistake yeah, again. Yeah, definitely will. I'm puzzled now. Yeah, me too. I suppose that is the point. Mm, quite. Right. Okay, so maybe we can't solve that if we haven't got a alpha. So what can so we solve? We, perhaps, we have, <laughs> perhaps we haven't got enough. I don't know. If we haven't got enough for that. Then maybe we can solve this other thing. What does that even mean? I'm not sure this goes with it. What, what are those pictures? Do they represent something? Is there something in this? I don't know what this is that we're not not, to use not it. looking at because it's got a big red cross through it is there anything that looks like that on this picture not that i can see i can't even tell what it is it looks like the head of a some sort of machine what about on here i don't see it either Oh well. And then we've got this that doesn't... I feel that's telling you to pay attention to the base lines, but there's also a conversion oh, hang arrow. These, but hang on, these guys are the same, aren't they? Are they? Because they, we've got the same... They're giving you the same clues to look in the same place, match up the same thing. So we find a one oh. and a zero like that. So we have got a set of three. We oh, just okay. dismissed it. Right, okay, you're probably right. Um, so we need to find that one and that zero. Okay. Somewhere. Well, it's definitely not on that page. Those ones and zeros are quite different. Yeah, they, they are. Maybe they. Oh. Oh, it's this zero. Ooh. Do you yeah, think that was really obvious? <laughs> yeah, probably. We haven't used the letters, have we? So we need to join things together on here, and then we'll spell out something, right? Let's try it. In fact, is, is it just possible that refer these tokens refer to? We did say this could refer to the Ouija board, but it doesn't seem to. So we'll assume it isn't for now. Um. So let's stop with the one. So this, I think this is telling us, wait, why does it mean one to zero? So one to zero is, is literally across here and it's specifically, there's definitely these characters, isn't it? Mm. And it's specifically the baseline of it. Going on the back of there isn't gonna help at all. It's just plain. Mm. So we've got one to zero. Merely eyeballing it will not be enough. Are we it. supposed to punch through? Are we supposed to use a ruler? Draw. Are we supposed to punch through from the other page? and uh, work out where these symbols are. Where the uh, bottle and the... I mean, so the bottle and the... Should I punch it through? Do you think that's a good idea or a bad idea? But if we're... I mean, go for it, I think. But if we're making... We're trying to make a link between those two objects. Yeah, so I don't know how that fits in. of that. So where do those holes go? Here. One in a skull. There well, is a skull in the useful. library, but I don't know if that's. And then this now. isn't anywhere in particular. No. So I feel that wasn't the right thing to do. Always important to try. Is there anything? If we drew a line in between those two things, does it cross over anything? It crosses over the crosses Ouija over board. Crosses over the Ouija board, doesn't it? Yeah. My ruler. I am baffled. Well, it's very specific. It is very specific. Does anything else happen when we do that? Appreciate it's hard to see that pencil mm. line. Yeah, I mean, there is now a pencil line on the picture. There is a pencil line on mm. the picture. I didn't see that coming. Yeah, and, <laughs> and if we did the same thing, for argument's sake, to the hammer and the nail, presuming that the nail is what's holding up that Greek letter, Hard to see again, but I'll put it in the light. We are just drawing lines. I thought it would help extract something. Yeah. And then we've got, if we get moved from the one to the zero on the, on the, it's just going to underline all those numbers, isn't it? 
Are we supposed to be taking the first letter of something on the Ouija board, or...? That doesn't really... Well, there must be some reason why we've got the physical objects to look at as well, right? What am I missing? It's really obvious. Mm. So we've got one to zero, which is like an underline. Yeah, we'll just underline them all. Mealy eyeballing it will not be enough here. Of course, it is possible we need a third one of these in some way. We've got three. So we know this is gamma, we know this is beta. But We're maybe this is, maybe by implication, that is alpha. I don't is know. Is there an alpha around the edges anywhere? Oh, what's this symbol? It's not the symbol on here, is it? These aren't the eights on here, are they? No, they're different. Is this the eight on here? No. It's not, again, is it? It's different again. No. I have to say, it's a good idea to line up the, compare the typefaces. I didn't really think of that. Mm. I'm very confused now. Oh, there's, there's a little there's alpha. A there's a little alpha just where? there. Oh, well spotted. Very well spotted. What can I say? So maybe we're joining alpha to one to zero. Also, I was just thinking that there's... Um, what was I going to say? I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, no, there's a skull. There, there is, is a skull, skull here, but it's a different, different looking skull. Okay, so this is alpha. Maybe these are... Uh, wait, I wait. Give the order. I think, I think it's nothing to do with the Ouija board. I think this one is the Ouija board for alpha. Yeah. This is the page in the middle for beta, and this is the page further on for, for gamma. And does the angle of the line give us the angle of the line or something to do with the line must give us a number in some way, mustn't it? This is what I don't understand. Is it the position what? on here? Position on these pictures? No, because they're both the same. What are the lines telling us? What are the lines Does it connect to something on here? Oh look, this symbols here. Are there symbols on the decoder? Can you see that? Ooh! So eight. Well done! Yeah, so I think that's a separate puzzle though, right? That is a separate puzzle. Where's the other one of those, anyway? Is it under here? Have we hidden it under there? I don't know. Chaos. Right, so what we need to do, I think... Oh, maybe this Stick connects. On. That's just three and four in that funny font, though, right? I reckon what we need to do is work out how that line gives us a number on here. So one to zero is a straight line across. This is alpha. What number is that on the card? Is that a time? Could there be times on a clock? Why would there be times on a Why clock? Why would there be times? And where does it start? And where does it end? That's true because you've got. You've you just could got be a line. A, yeah, it could be even deeper. Twelve at the top. It could go this way or this way from the centre. Have we missed something really obvious? We may not have all the information for that puzzle yet. It's possible. So I don't see how we convert these lines. Maybe it's not the angle you need. Puzzled. What does it say? Merely eyeballing it will not be enough. So it's a, oh wait, hang on a minute, what's this? Is this a ruler? <gasps> it's a ruler that was zero, 01. Do you want to grab my marker pen there? Yes. We can label them, can't we? Zero, 01, two, three, four. Can you even read that? That's yes, just about five, six, mm. seven. Maybe we were measuring the line lengths? I think that's quite tricky. Is there a symbol used somewhere on the cards? No. No. Okay, so the gamma is four. It fits exactly. Okay. Gamma is four. And how do we measure the one inside the how book? How did you spot that? Hang on. Yeah, how do we measure the one inside the book? It's from there up to there. Need a magic piece of string. I think it's six. That was beta, right? And then alpha yeah. is also inside the book. I could use this an actual ruler, couldn't I? I don't know why I was measuring with my pencil when I have a ruler on my desk. <laughs> that does seem particularly dumb. Uh, eight centimetres. Are centimeters. these actual centimetres? No, I don't think so. No, they're not, are they? Eight uh, centimetres would take us to five. five. So we've got five, six, four. That was a hard puzzle. That was really hard. Okay, and we've got the symbol is the Y. And you have to say, why? Just like that. Why, why, why? Five, six, four gives us eight. I hope this is right. Yeah, so do I. And what's it on? Didn't we work out it was on the drafting table? We did. Oh, yes. Here it is. Five, six, four drafting table. It's here. Number one. Sometimes the best. 
in this case oh. it's pretty good wow okay. that was hard yeah, that was hard wasn't it let's get rid of these very good by laying the ruler on the book you were able to measure the required distances and figure out the code the drawer underneath the drafting board opens inside you find riddle cards lowercase i m and v take these riddle cards out and stack out of the stack and look at them i don't know why i keep getting stuck on that instruction right lowercase i m where are we just gone past it and v these are in alphabetical order so i should be better at that <laughs> right let's have a look right okay so i another, okay, one, another of one of those okay m what i marked like this must be removed but just that exactly that and not there but somewhere else does that mean to cut up the decoder? I think it means to cut up the decoder, you know. No. Yeah. No. Definitely, maybe. You can now prove you are the cleverest one here. Game designer's tip. Well, presumably these slot so into these each other. These are for different puzzles. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. But presumably we need another one. Yeah. Because we haven't got the two to three one, have we? No, but we do have three of what look like these pieces. So we could probably, all being well, solve that one. Right, so mm. I think it means remove the bits. What I marked like this must be removed. And they're different sizes, look, aren't they? Oh, they are. So, I see my scissors, or you can do it. Yes, no, no, you go for it. So let's zoom out then, because those cards are pretty chunky. So in between three and four on the smallest inner ring, is that right? Yeah, I think so. That's got to come out. And it says, Exactly that, not there, but somewhere else it means here, presumably not on the card. What's the purpose of that? This little thesis oh what we're gonna do black on the back. Okay, does it line up with something somewhere? Oh, Ooh, secret other numbers. Yeah, there are secret other numbers, aren't Ooh, there? Oh fun. Because they're not could you see that? And then it says two, four, and eight on top. Oh. Ah, so we must go to the new secret numbers, two, four, and eight. Yes, I think you're right. Mm. Or, if I'm wrong, I'm very confident. <laughs> yeah, or, or that we see what numbers are revealed when we turn to two, four, eight for yeah, that symbol. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and then we cut between three and four in the middle ring. Yeah. Secret extra numbers. Love that. Yep, extra numbers there. And then It feels a bit wrong destroying the decoder. I mean, we're not destroying it, but... Seven and eight. Okay, and the secret numbers here, yes. So what do we spell out? Let's, so let's go big to small, because that's the way. Let's go big to small, yeah. So you think we dial this in with the secret numbers? But yeah. then lined up with, what's the lined puzzle? Lined up with, with the, the, the triangle. triangle. Oh. That isn't gonna work, is it? Maybe if I dial 843 on the triangle. Does it tell us something in the secret numbers? And then we dial that in. So if I dial in 843 in the secret numbers. 842. 842, yes, thank you. Mm -hmm. You didn't have to whisper. <laughs> That's pretty sure. I don't know, it seemed like quite an intense moment. So 842. 842 gives us nine. This, this is a bit of a, I'm not sure this is this clear on camera. I've put in yeah. 842 because that's on the cards. And then in the cutout bits, we read 931. So I think the answer is therefore 931. So then do we put 931 into the triangle? Yeah, because otherwise it won't line up with the, with the middle, will it? So it gives us 23, and that may or may not be correct. Tense. But there's only one way to find out. Ooh. I mean, there's probably other ways you could look online. Sure, sure, but, sure, sure. Okay, it's Ooh. a good start. Promising. And then where is the triangle? Where is the triangle? Ah, it's yeah, in the pyramid. On the, pyramid. the golden pyramid. 15. All right. Moment of truth. Three, two, one, go. Yes. Hey, wasn't entirely sure How that satisfying. was correct. It is satisfying. Mm. That was a bit. That was nicely more sort of solvable for us than the previous one, wasn't mm, it? Very much so. A bit of light relief. Even if the pyramid brought back memories of a horrific trip to Egypt, you That's were able to open one. it. Yeah, I don't think we've been to Egypt yet, but more on that soon. The tip of the pyramid can now be unscrewed and you find new clues. You find riddle cards C, F and Z. Take these riddle cards out of the stack and look at them. I don't mind if I do. C, F and Z. C, F. I haven't got many left. I've only got two left after this. Oh, okay. Okay, C, F and Z. Now it's your turn to anagram them into words. Oh, brilliant. Thanks for 
all we have on that. Okay, I think we know which one that yeah, goes it's gonna go with. with it's going to go with those. And then we've... Oh, we've got another one. Ooh. And then lots of text. Oh, my gosh. So these two say, only a square shape has a right angle in each of our four corners as well as four equal sides. Mathematical dictum. Blue... Gentian blossoms yeah. are no help for making bread rise. Cooking show Maybe wisdom. Cooking show and wisdom. we don't think we ever read out. More and more cryptic. You can now preview the cleverest one here. So I assume we cut down these mm. and stack them into a square, right? Cut them together, yeah. I mean, if I'm wrong, the worst is that there's some cuts. Yeah, on that the pages. looks about right. Slot them together. Oh, it's gonna it's gonna reveal. It's gonna cut out those words. It's gonna reveal some extra message, I think. Around the edges. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I think so. You can start assembling them if you want. Well, you start. You didn't start with number one, so. You know, you can join the numbers that aren't number one. That's a good point. Okay, I need one. I need another one. One. I'll zoom one. Out. Ooh, but which way do you do it? So oh, they face like outwards for sure. So they're like that. Only the. So what have we got there? Right. What does this say? When silly sayings make you shake your head, they must hide meaning, a wise man once said. So if you have to cut, then cut you must, and then reassemble in a way you trust. Your brain will guide you, just do your best, and then just read. You won't have to guess, but here's a saying to remove all doubts, lest the flicker of hope go completely out. In every one of the corners, one through four, your answer waits on this, you can be sure. So we've done it. Oh, we have. So we get, in our first corner we have... Let's see, only the blue angle can help you now. The blue angle? The blue angle. It's not Ooh, a triangle, wow. is it? It's a blue angle. A blue angle. Okay. Was mm. that a blue, a blue angle in this book? Does it mean here? Maybe it does. Does this line Do up with it? It lines up with it, right? Ooh, that's pretty. Yeah. One, one three five one, or three, five, five three one. One of the two, right? How do we know? Well, we don't. We'll try one three five, shall we? And what symbol was this? It was a square. This was a square. And what's the square on? It's on. It's safe. Mm. Right. One, three, five. Is eleven. I don't know why I said that as if that was the... <laughs> it's 11! Oh my goodness, I was Some expecting sort of. it to be 17. No. Um, okay, no. let's... What do we just try? We tried 1, 3, 5, right? So we'll now we'll try the other way around. 5, 3, 1. It's, we've got wait, 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 there's an arrow. arrow. <laughs> I didn't pay attention to the arrow. What does, what does the arrow mean? mean? Well, presumably it doesn't mean flip it round because it's symmetrical. It probably means read 1, 3, 5. Oh, that's what I did. Yeah, I paid attention to the arrow. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Is there something in here which points? No. Yeah, the arrow is obviously relevant. It must be one three four. Maybe it's five three one. What does that arrow mean? I don't know. Maybe it means from top to bottom. So we'll try five three one. That's a valid interpretation, I feel. Is it? Yeah, I suppose so. Five three one gives us twenty four. Tens. If we line that up there. Alas, the code is wrong. But because it's clear that you're making an effort as a special one-time exception, you are now permitted to take a look at answer card 11. We just looked at answer card 11. Did we? Yeah. How desperate you are. <laughs> you're grasping at every straw. Unfortunately, this code is not correct. How does that help us? I think that was a bit cruel. <laughs> oh, I see. Oh. It's just being cruel. Uh, well, we can try Only it in another order. Only the blue order. angle can help you now. Well, I assumed it meant like that. Can it though? What if you we could do put that? it like that. It gives us one, but that just gives us a single number, right? That's the only other way to line it up like that, unless we do it like. I mean, you could obviously do that, and yes. that's going to be exactly the same. There's only two ways to do it. Oh well, well, you suppose you've got inner angles like that, but it doesn't. The fact that there's three digits in the middle must mean it's correct, right? But does it? We need confirmation. And what does that arrow mean? I'm not put that on straight, have I? Maybe you're meant to read. Are there multiple arrows that point at them? What does it actually say? Um, mm. Only the 
blue angle can help you now. Only the blue angle can help you now. Well, I'm pretty sure we need one we three can't five. Help us. But in what order? Maybe it's one five three. Maybe you meant to go around the outside and spiral into the center. But it's not a spiral. It's a sort of. Hmm. I agree. It's not really a spiral. Uh, nor I... is it a right angle. What am I missing? What am I? Maybe I'm miss Maybe you're reading them around. The maybe you're not reading them in the middle. Maybe you're reading around the outside. Maybe it's eight, nine, two. What about something? Or the corners? What about six, yeah. Or eight zero nine. There's a zero here. It's not visible on the camera. But there's a zero there. Mm. Maybe it's around the outside. Should we read the edges? Sure. Eight. I'll read the edges and the sides. Or should it make sense to read? I oh, know that doesn't make sense. Let's read the corners. Because look, there are four corners, right? Yeah. And one has got an arrow, so we're reading around the outside of the corners. Okay. That make that makes sense. So, so it's zero. We've got a zero. A six, six and a, a two. two. Zero, so six, we seven. think the answer is zero six zero, two. Six, do we think the answer is zero six two? Yeah, it must be. I'm sure of it now. Okay. If it's wrong, I'll eat my hat. And what? <laughs> what shape are we on? I'm not wearing a hat though. We're on a square. Twenty. This is a very small, invisible one. Twenty. This is going to be. So, I'm so sure this is correct. Oh, okay. Okay, and it's um, whatever the square was on. Whatever the square was on. I already, already worked it out. Safe. safe. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Uh, 27. 27. Mm, I don't think we've had that one before. A good sign. <gasps> Finally! Yes, you cracked the safe. You seem to be on the verge of freeing yourself from your imprisonment. But what has this nutcase thought up now? You find riddle cards W and Y along with two strange items. Room wall and hallway wall. Very a hall strange. wall is a very strange item it is. to find. We have a big hands. Oh, take these riddle cards from the stack and the strange items out of the box and look at them. Okay, well, so I'm we gonna, so we white. can get rid of this one yeah. and I'll put the book to one side. So we've got, it's got Y and W. Let's have a look. Oh, numbers. Behind one of the three hallway doors, open the door of the study. You will, through the peephole, I think we're missing some text here. Walls and doors, same for these cards, and squeeze. You will have to find out for yourself. Okay. Maybe we should have done those in order. I was <laughs> okay, you can read the first half now. Can the I? path to freedom is located. Behind one of the three hallway doors. To get into the hallway, you have to... Open the door to the study. You will... Discover the code when you look. Through the peephole. Walk. Walls and door... Do not lie flat. I got it wrong. You're right. <laughs> Do not lie flat. They should stand up. Same for these cards. It's and squeeze... The size in tight. But how and where? You will have to find out for yourself. I kept thinking it was a new sentence. Oh, it was my well, term. we need I to know, practice know, that. Not, but presumably this skill card, is going to come yeah, up again. <laughs> our dual card reading. Now hang right. on, there was something about walls and doors do not lie flat. They should stand up. Same for these cards. Right, now just so I know, have you given out just all of the cards now? Just clocking that. I have administered all of the riddle cards. That's it. And there are the no bot. more. And then we finished used used. It doesn't mean we can't use them again. But I think we aren't going to. I think we've used everything in the booklet. Mm -hmm. And... So we've got... What puzzle letter is... This is a plus, which is the exit door, right? So I hope so. I don't know whether we need this. We might do to lay, like, lie the walls up properly. But um, so I'm assuming we're putting them in the box in some way, right? We've got a whole hallway. And I the... haven't actually shown anyone what these no, are. No, mystery. Or maybe I'll zoom back in again. So we've got That's this. That's got a hole in it. Which lines up clearly with this in some way. The picture is Ooh. similar. Uh, and it's black on the back. And you can look through Mysterious. it to see what you see. And then we've got three exits. And some notches on the top. And an uh, instruction that things don't lie flat. Yeah, so what you're going to do, I'm sure, is look through the hole, put them up, look through the hole, look through the notch and see what you see behind it, right? I don't know, let's find out. We need to put them somewhere though. Presumably in the box. I think so. I mean, I don't know for sure, but how else are they going to stand up? Um, mm. Path to Freedom is located behind one of the three hallway doors. To get into the hallway, you have to open the door of the study. You will discover the code. It's quite hard to read when I was mm. out. You will discover the code when you look through the people. Walls and doors do not lie flat as you stand up. And squeeze the sides in tight. But how and where? Behind one of the three way... Oh, you have to find out for yourself. Well, look. Is there any hint on here about... Oh, what's this? Is that a bit of one of the rooms? Oh, what is that? It's definitely something, isn't it? And here, look, there's something here as well. What does that line up with? I can't yeah, quite that's see. That's really confusing. And then here again, 
Does it line up? It doesn't line up with the edge. Oh, it does. Look, it lines up with the edge of the piece. Ah, fun. So if we stand that up, there's a kind of box within a box there. So if we stand it up inside the box, will that And this work? lines up with that skull, right? So that, that definitely goes in. Was that actually on camera? That lines up with the skull here. So this piece here, I'll just turn off the focus lock. Mm. That lines up with the skull. So this piece here has a skull on it. So presumably that. Will they slide in there? Goes between seamlessly. The, yeah, between the box line, I imagine. Okay. Like that goes cool. like that for Love sure. That. It lines up, doesn't yeah. it? And then the other bit, presumably, hmm. goes here. And how are we gonna? But what's that there? What's that brown stuff? What, is there anything on the back of these cards? Nope. I don't know what that brown stuff is. Unless we're putting the picture in or something else as well. Because even if we look through this, what are we going to be? Even if we look through that hole mm. and at the notches somehow by looking through the hole, which does actually make sense, look. Hi. Um, then what are we going to be looking at? What are we looking at? At the other end. There's got to be something there. Oh, these are these cards. I'm so dumb. The cards go in here, don't they? But where do they stand up? They go in the slots so here. That's what the red is. It's meant to be the back of the card. Oh, so when I just looked at the back of the card, I just missed the fact that they were... <laughs> I just yeah. got to the outside of the so box. So we're putting the numbers here. Okay. Against the back of the box. Ah, and then those notches are arrows then, to have yeah, a look. Yeah, to look through the... you look through the arrow, don't you, the hold, to see where... I must go across the middle. Look, there's here go in and the... here. Ah! And then this wedges in here. Well done, us. And by that, I mean you. And then you look through. So now we just need to line awesome. it up with the holes. Okay. Oh. Seven. I think that's an eight. I think that's an eight. And, and two. two. Seven, eight, two. Seven, eight, two. Well, then we'll Are be we going to escape? We'll soon find out. You need some fine motor skills for that one, don't you? <laughs> yeah, what, what symbol was it? That was the last one. I think it's the cross. The plus, yeah. The plus, yeah. What do we say? Seven, eight, two. Seven. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. Moment of truth. For our next haunted holiday. 18. No, switch for the holiday. You don't really want to be trapped <laughs> in your neighbour's mansion, do you? It's not much no. of a... Okay, that's a good okay. start. And then the exit door. Which is that one. Nine, right? Yeah. Number nine. Hey, hey! Yay! The door is open and you are able to escape. You are standing in the hallway. You immediately run to one of the three doors marked exit. The door is unlocked and you are in fact free. Phew, that was tense. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? <laughs> Luckily, you did not choose either of the other doors, which would have led you straight to your host. So you disappear without being detected and notify the police. Before long, the host is apprehended. Unfortunately, the man's identity cannot be determined and there was no documentation about him. He calls himself Dr. Arthur Funbeck. That's got to be an anagram, right? Oh, yeah. It's a Q and a U for a start. Mm. Half a year later, he is taken into custody, but he manages to escape from prison. Did you really believe that this master of escape would have been able to be kept prisoner? Now the only question is whether he will, quote marks, invite you to play another game. And we're done. Well, there we go. That was fun, wasn't it? I think he probably will invite us to play another yeah, game. Yeah, that's my know. guess as well. I think he's recognised that we're really good yeah. at this. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, we got it through the escape room. How long did it take us? Let's have a look. Yeah, what's the time on about, about an hour and a little bit. Nice. Not too bad, actually. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please do subscribe. Down there is a little icon, always in the corner of the screen. It allows you to subscribe to the channel. makes it easier to find future videos, and maybe they'll even be recommended to you, if, if, if I'm lucky. <laughs> if you're lucky. Uh, but, and we're going to do some more of these videos, aren't we? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and also, do check out the other videos we have on the channel. Um, my solves of the various uh, puzzle-based advent calendars over the past couple of years, and also another solve of the previous Exit the Game book, uh, box that we solved last mm, week as well. It's a good one. Um, so yeah, hopefully join us in next week's video. But until then, all that remains is for me to say goodbye to you. Bye. And for me to say goodbye to you. Bye. Bye. <laughs>